Okay, let's see if we can find the area of any shape roof using the free program called Foxit Reader. Now, you'll receive the uh, roof plan in a PDF format from your architect, and let's just say this is this is it. One side of the roof will have a dimension, let's say, this is 10,000 millimeters through here. All right, so now we click on the comment section here and we see there's a distance tool, a perimeter tool and an area tool. We select the area tool. Make sure these are set to 1 is to 1. The scalar ratio here is 1 is to 1. Okay, now off we go. Click on any corner and we go to the next one. Now that distance across here has to be 10,000. But looking down here at the area tool, this distance here will tell us what it is. So when we go to here, we find the area tool is only 109.14. Uh, All right. So escape from that. So 109.14, 109.14 has to equal 10,000. So our 109 there really has to equal 10,000. So now let's try it again. There and to there. Now look, down in the bottom right hand corner there, we're near enough to 10,000. So let's carry on. Click on each corner like so. All the way back to the start. And we've got the answer. This is in square millimetres, so move the, to get it to metres, we move the decimal point along six spots, and we see 73.58 square metres. 73.58, near enough to 74 square metres. How, how cool was that? Now, it doesn't matter what shape your roof is. For instance, uh, let's just do a test on any old shape that you want. Doesn't matter. We come back to there. And we get an answer. This time it's um, 9.1. 9.1 square metres, that sh funny looking shape. So that's pretty easy. Let's uh, go back. Now, how do we find the area of a particular downpipe? Let's say that's a downpipe there. The roof will always fall to the ridge perpendicular to the eaves gutter because that's the way the roof sheeting goes. So all our rainwater is going to be falling down towards the roof gutter. Is it not? Like, whoops, wrong way. It falls down like this. Now, when it hits the eaves gutter, it falls both ways. It'll reach a high point halfway between these two and the half will go this way and the other half will go this way to that downpipe so to find how what the catchment area of this downpipe is we know it starts there everything from the ridge will hit there and come here similarly here a halfway point everything from the ridge will hit there and go there so let's see what the area of that is we can do this easily with a rectangular thing up there Put that on there, all the way down to halfway between those other two. And that catchment will be the area that drains into that downpipe. Best of luck. Mm -hmm.